guys, today I'm going to show you how to create this effect. You must be familiar with this light to power off text animation. Okay, so let's break down our task. This is a black text and uh, there's some white gradient moving from left to right. It looks like the text is a mask for this gradient. Let's write some code to see how we can recreate this effect. I'll start by creating a struct. Um, I'm gonna name it animated text for the lack of a better name. This can be done in a number of ways, but I think I will create a rectangle with a gradient overlay, which is infinitely moving from left to right inside the rectangle. So let's create the rectangle and add an overlay and a linear gradient inside it. I'm going to use the colors clear, white and clear again to create this white blurred gradient. The start point should be leading and the end point is trailing. Okay, so here we go, we have a gradient. Let's add some animation to it so that it moves from left to right infinitely. For that, we need to add a variable which will trigger the animation. I'll just call it move gradient. When this view appears, I want to toggle the value of move gradient. In order to move the gradient from left to right, I will change the offset of the gradient. For now, let's just move it 200 points on the x-axis and let's see if that works. Okay, so that's animating. Now we just need to make sure that it repeats forever and we don't want to auto reverse. Okay, so if we want this to move from one side of the screen to another, we need to know the screen width. I'll just get that value from UI screen, main, bounds, width. Now, to move the white bit to the left, let's change the minimum X offset to minus screen width divided by two and maximum offset to screen width divided by two. Brilliant, it's moving from left part of the screen to the right. And now we will add the text as a mask so that the whole rectangle is masked by the text. There we are, this looks very close to what we want. We can use a larger font to see how that looks. And let's make the background grey so that we can see better. We can make it a bit faster by reducing the animation duration. Or make it slower by increasing the duration. I want the light to be a bit more focused. It's a bit more spread out than I want it to be. So in order to do that, we need to reduce the width of the gradient. As you can see, it looks a bit more focused now. That's it for today's video. If you do end up using this animation somewhere, I would love to know. Let me know in the comments or on Twitter. I will be doing a lot more fun little animations in Swift in the coming weeks. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button. If you think there's something I can improve, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'll see you next time. Bye.